Now, according to the Messianic prophecies, a series of events unfold upon the coming of God in person. The core of these events is described in the words of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that he spoke to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan before his departure in 1975 to be with Master Fahd Muhammad. And these words are, Brother, Allah has made me to take his place among the people, and I am making you to take mine. This is a very powerful and profound statement demonstrating the maturation of the fulfillment of the prophecies. Some people have inferred that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's words to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan apply to all of us and not specifically to him. Well, how can that be when we were not present during their private conversation? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad knew the destiny of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan as the Messiah and the Christ. His words reveal this. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan's work also bears witness to this reality. And my work in heralding the Honorable Louis Farrakhan as the Christ speaks for itself. Who else is representing the Honorable Louis Farrakhan the way that Allah is blessing me to do? No one. What the Honorable Elijah Muhammad stated to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan is a serious stepping stone for, the many, for many of those who claim to believe in and follow the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Again, his statement involves the maturation of the fulfillment of the messianic prophecies. What is Allah's place among the people? What is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's place or what was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's place among the people which he at the time of that statement was making the Honorable Louis Farrakhan to take. Who is the Allah that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is referring to in his statement to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught that Allah generally refers to human beings. He refuted the long held notion that Allah was a mysterious spirit floating in space, which most people today believe. In fact, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us the origin and the intent of this false teaching about God. The satanic leaders of this world have used this false teaching about God to deceive, control and enslave the human population. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad also taught that the Supreme Being among all beings in the universe is referred to as Allah because this one possesses power over all of creation. This makes Allah a title of the one who is responsible for regulating the affairs of the universe in words becoming the Lord of the worlds. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad declared that Allah, the Supreme Being, came in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad. This is whom the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is referring to in his statement to the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad further states regarding the reality of Allah. There is no God living who was here in the creation of the universe, but they produce gods from them and their wisdom lives in us. The Holy Quran bears witness to this. It states, and there endures forever the person of thy Lord, the Lord of glory and honor. Here we are being told that there will always be a person who is the supreme being. 
And this makes sense given the reality that no human being lives forever. The function of Allah represented by the supreme beings or gods throughout the annals of time is also exemplified in the Holy Quran through the words we and us. For example, it states in the Holy Quran regarding the revelation of the Holy Quran, surely on us rests the collecting of it and the reciting of it. So when we recite it, follow its recitation. Again on us rests the explaining of it. Some Quranic scholars believe that this we and us are Allah's angels. This is incorrect. The Holy Quran makes a distinction between the we and the angels. Other Quranic scholars believe that the we and us are Allah's messengers. This too is incorrect. The Holy Quran makes a distinction between the we and the messengers of Allah.